Hi friends, welcome to the Kindergarten Disco story time. I am so excited to see you for our very first story time on our new page. And I wore my most brightest disco clothes that I have, but every time I do a story time, I make sure that I have one important pair piece of clothing on my body. And I'll show you, are you ready? My rainbow reading socks. They keep me warm, they're very cheerful, I love them, and I'm just excited to do our very first story time on our page. Now listen, today I picked a very, very silly book. I hope you like it, I love it, it makes me laugh, and I feel like I need a little giggle today. So, are you ready? Our first book for our read aloud is The Princess and the Pony. Now give me a thumbs up if you have read this book before. Thumbs down if you have not read this book before. So I love this one. It makes me giggle a lot. It's called The Princess and the Pony and it is by Kate Beaton. And I want you to take a look at the cover and see if you can make a prediction. Now, pause. A prediction is when we think about what might happen in a story, what we think could happen. So you could look at the characters and think about hmm, what do you think could happen in this story? What do you think this book is about? So that's what it means to make a prediction, to say, hmm, I think this book might be about a very strange looking pony. So we're gonna get to the bottom of this book, The Princess and the Pony. I like this first page because it just has ponies. <laughs> the Princess and the Pony by Kate Beaton. And there she is. In a kingdom of warriors, the smallest warrior was Princess Pinecone, and she was very excited for her birthday. Warriors, most warriors get fantastic birthday presents, shields, amulets, helmets with horns, things to win battles with, things that make them feel like champions. Princess Pinecone got a lot of cozy sweaters. Warriors do not need cozy sweaters. This year it would be different. Princess Pinecone made sure to let everyone know exactly what she wanted. A big horse. A fast horse. A strong horse. A real warrior's horse. There's your parents. And they tried their best but they didn't quite get it right. Does that look like the biggest, strongest warrior horse you've seen? I can't ride that, said Princess Pinecone. It's too small, it's too round. And I think its eyes are looking in different directions. This was true, but only sometimes. <laughs> but you can't say no to a birthday present. So she took the little pony to her room where it ate things it shouldn't have, and it farted too much. <laughs> now, as it happens, a great battle was coming up, and battling is a warrior's favorite thing to do. The princess tried to teach the pony how to be a real warrior horse. <clears throat> but the pony was hopeless. We'll never be champions. Pinecone sighed. The day of the great battle arrived. All the other warriors seemed very big and very tough. Just do your best, she said to the pony. Look at him in his little cape. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen. You could also make a prediction here. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think that pony is going to do? Oh dear. The starting horn sounded and what a battle it was. There were dodgeballs and spitballs and hairballs and square balls. Those were new. People were getting knocked over left and right. Pinecone stood at the edge looking for her chance to dive in. Can you see her way over on the side and look at the battle? Oh my goodness. Just then, Otto the Awful, the meanest warrior of all, charged right for her. Ta -da! Oop. The crowd held its breath. Pinecone fumbled for her spitballs. But Otto stopped 
in his tracks. His eyes grew very wide. Can you make your eyes get very wide like mine? <laughs> Aww, he said. What a cute little pony. Who would want to hurt a roly-poly pony like you? Look yeah, at Otto's big eyes, too. <laughs> warrior after warrior paused to admire the pony. Oh, what a cutie pie, said Sally Smash. He's so round, said Carlos the Cruel. Ah, he looks a bit like me, said Huge Harold. Can you see Huge Harold right there? <laughs> Pinecone was flabbergasted, flummox floored. This is not how a battle usually goes, she said. She looks confused, right? She's kind of scratching her head a little bit. Hmm. You're right, said Otto, but we warriors don't often get to show our cuddly sides. Princess Pinecone thought about it. Well, she said, I can help you with that. I mean, everybody hugging on the pony. <laughs> Soon, all the warriors had cozy sweaters. They were looking prettily cuddly for a bunch of brutes. And these guys are high-fiving up here. Everyone voted Pinecone and the Pony the most valuable warriors of the day. Pinecone threw her arms around the pony. Oh, you're the best horse a warrior could ask for, she cheered. Nothing can stop a team like us. <laughs> the pony was so excited, it lifted its tail and farted. Well, said Princess Pinecone. We can work on that. I think this book is so silly. Oh, you don't want to miss this last page. Look at all these ponies and sweaters. I think this book is silly and funny. And I just think that that little pony, he just cracks me up. So I wondered what is making you laugh lately? And do you have any books that you like to read at night, maybe with your grown up, or maybe you're reading by yourself? What are some books that you like that make you laugh, that make you laugh out loud and you think that they're funny? For me, it's The Princess and the Pony. I really like how this book makes me giggle. So I hope you had a good little giggle at the farty pony. <laughs> and I'm excited to see you for our next story time. See you soon, friends. Keep reading.